Welcome to the Manor inside the Virgin Voyages ship, Scarlet Lady. Hey everyone, it's Patrick from Oakland Travel, and it's episode 19 of the blog from our cruise in November of 2021. This is one of the little group activities that you can do on the Scarlet Lady, and uh, it's pretty interesting. It showed up in the activities that we saw in the app, and we decided to kind of come check it out. Uh, it's open. I don't think you have to make a reservation. I think you can just kind of show up uh, at the start of it uh, and get one of the little weights there. You see everybody's, you know, holding them. But we just walked into the back of the manor on the lower level and we're kind of watching for a little while before going up to the upper level. So uh, it's kind of cool if you want to just, you know, participate in, in some of these things just by virtue of just watching what's going on as opposed to getting down there working out they make it kind of fun and interactive and it was certainly interesting to watch uh, but we're going to move from here over to deck seven to go to the vinyl shop uh, which is a novelty of virgin voyages uh, something kind of unusual that you don't see on other cruise lines right here we're talking to one of the crew members asking him when the vinyl shop is going to be open and he's telling us we have to go down to deck six uh, right below us because you know apparently that's right at that time if you wanted to buy uh, one of the records you know one of the vinyl records you'd have to go down there but they don't sell vinyl records down on deck six so i don't know why he was telling us to go down there exactly that didn't kind of make a lot of sense but we end up walking down there uh not really finding what we're looking for and ended up coming back up to deck seven so uh not really sure what the the the, uh, the disconnect there was but it's kind of a neat little thing. I remember seeing it in September of 2021 when I was there for the Travel Advisor preview right before the ship launched in the U.S. in October. And they had a couple of uh, turntables set up and some records playing. The collection of vinyl that they had at that time was kind of unusual, rare classics or unusual remixes or whatever. And I'm not really sure exactly how many people or who would buy you know one of these unusual vinyl records like during a cruise but i guess it's something that virgin has uh made available so uh maria right here is the one filming you see me kind of standing there holding the phone i was actually doing a live stream at the time Hi there, Maria here from Oakland Travel. Just wanted to pop in with a quick reminder. If you enjoy this video, please click the thumbs up. If you're new here or you haven't yet subscribed, please consider subscribing with the notification bell on so you'll know when we post new content. Thank you so much for your support to help us reach our goal of 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2022. So right there, uh, directly ahead of us, is a little DJ booth, and there were times during the cruise when uh, one of the DJs would set up there and kind of play some music for everybody that was up here at the top of the roundabout. So that was kind of cool to see that. Yeah. Prince Purple yeah, Rain. You know, no one so you said the vinyl shop was down storage, but it's not. It's right here. You can have your very own Prince <laughs> Purple yeah. Rain. I've still got a lot of vinyl. Both, um... Sorry, what do you call the, the big versus the 45? LP. LP. So, yeah. I've got more of those than I do 45, but I still have 45. Let's see if you want beer. And all the beer on here. So now we're in the dock in deck seven, and this is one of the little pop-up entertainment things that they do back here. This one guy back here with his guitar, uh, you never really know exactly when they're gonna show up and do their thing. Uh, the night before on embarkation night, when we were on out there uh, doing the sail away, this guy and, and several other crew members kind of showed up out of nowhere, did a little acapella, something, something, and then they were gone. 
And it's just kind of part and parcel of what they do on the Virgin Voyages cruises where they do this. They like to surprise you. They don't really tell you certain things ahead of time. You know, you'll find certain instances in the app where they might tell you something's going on, but they won't give you a whole lot of detail. Uh, they want you to sort of explore and figure it out on your own, especially like during Scarlet Night. They don't tell you a lot about what's going on during Scarlet Night, like where it is and when it is. You're just supposed to kind of walk around on the on your own and find it and figure it out. It's just one of the ways that uh, Virgin Voyages kind of, you know, the, one of the how they do things, I guess, is the best way to put it. Here we are back up in the galley, my favorite part of the ship. Um, I wish I could take this idea of the galley from Virgin Voyages and just supplant this on Royal Caribbean ships that we normally go on because most of the time we cruise with Royal Caribbean. But this, the idea of the galley is so incredibly awesome because it's made to order. It's The food is just amazing. And I just wish we had this on Royal Caribbean ships. This is one of the... One of the key reasons you would ever do a cruise on a Virgin Voyage of Ships is just for the galley by itself. It's just that damn good. And so we ended up coming back here over and over and over again for just almost every meal of the day, walking through here, um, getting water at night for, you know, to fill up our, our uh, water bottles. Just almost any excuse we could come up with to go back to the galley because we this is just our absolute favorite place on the ship. Yeah, that's great. No, that's just the tomatoes. That's definitely the, the fried opposite. 